Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Just got a new flashlight from Thrunite. This is the new TN42. So it's the TN42 V2. This is meant to be a major thrower. So let's open this thing up and take a look at it. All right, so here's a look at the light. Just a bear of a light. I mean, look at that. So this thing is definitely gonna punch some, some light out into the night. Let's take a look at what you get with the flashlight. So obviously you get the flashlight. You also get the batteries included, which you can see right here. It's gonna be four uh, 3.6 volt 21700 batteries. All four of those bad boys slide into the lower portion of the flashlight. You're gonna get a charging plug here. You can see you basically just pop out the, uh, the two prongs there, plug it into your wall. And on the other end, you can see a USB-C, which is definitely a win to have that. More and more companies are moving in that direction, which is definitely a plus. You're gonna get your silica gel. Do not eat this. Here's your through night warranty. And then you got your instruction manual and it does come in a variety of different languages. You get this little bag of goodies. So we got some O-rings in there, a couple extra covers, an extra switch, and then a uh, split ring. So you can attach your, basically your um, sling to carry the light. So that's what it looks like when it's all set up. You basically have this kind of interesting attachment system in the front. And then you put your split ring and then attach your loop. And then obviously if you want to th throw it over a shoulder, you can do that. If you want to throw it over your head the whole way also, you can do that with the light. All right, let's go through the outputs for the light. So we start off with the Firefly, which is one lumen, and that's going to run for 180 days. Low is 80 lumens. That's going to run for 82 hours. Your medium is 425 lumens. That's going to run for 15 hours. Your high is 1863, so 1863, that's gonna run for three hours. Then you have your turbo, that's gonna be 4848, so 4848 lumens, and that's gonna run for 125 seconds, and then it's gonna drop down, and that number is 1737, and that's gonna run for 160 minutes. So 125 seconds, let's see, 60 seconds, so basically two minutes, let's say two minutes at that 48 48 level and then drop down again to 1737. It is drop resistant to 1.5 meters and IPX8 rated so that's good down to two meters underwater. Now as is true with other through night flashlights they do have a basically an indicator to show you how much battery power you have left. So if you see the little hole there in the middle of your power switch that's going to uh, be lit up at different colors for different levels so let me read that to you real quick so 21 percent to 100 percent that's blue and then you have 11 to 20 percent that's red one to ten percent flashing red and then obviously if it won't light it up up at all it's at zero percent i've said this about other um through night flashlights i do like the fact that they offer you that as a feature but to have 21 to 100 percent be blue that's a lot of range there so i wish it was like you know 10 to 50% or 10 to 30% with something, and then like, you know, 30% to 90% or 30% to 100% was the uh, was a different color. But it is what it is, and at least they give you some sense of how much burn time you have left for your batteries. We also have a strobe feature, so that's gonna run at 3,996 uh, lumens, and that's gonna be for four hours. So as far as function, it's pretty simple. You're basically gonna press your button, and the light will turn on. If you hold it down, it's gonna cycle up to the different or through the different outputs to see if you can see that I just don't want to blind the camera too much but so that's gonna cycle when you turn it off or press it it's gonna go off now if I hold it down it's gonna come on at firefly press it and it'll go off if I double click it'll come on at turbo and then if I triple click it'll go to strobe so strobe warning and that's your uh, your functionality. It does have a memory feature except for uh, your turbo level, your strobe level, and your firefly level. So of the other levels, when you turn it off at that level and then turn it back on, it's gonna come on at that same level. All right, so they do give you the actual uh, size and weight in uh, millimeters, but I'm gonna roll in inches here down on the bottom, but it's 190. 0.5 millimeters by 105 by 57 millimeters. The weight is 400, 648 grams with the battery excluded. I've said this before, but that's relatively pointless because nobody uses a flashlight without batteries. So I'll weigh this and roll in the, uh, the weight right here so you can see what it actually weighs in ounces. And also we'll do it in grams. Now your LED is an SBT90, if you're interested in that technical detail. The other thing to mention to you is that it does have this little film here. So you've got like a little thing that you're gonna pull off. Um, it did not come with this film blocking the batteries. So once it's cranked down and charged up a little bit, you can definitely uh, turn this thing on. So let me give you some initial thoughts on the, uh, the new TN42 V2. 
First off, I like that they include the uh, the carrying shoulder strap. I just think that's a win because it's a big, hefty light. It's not like it's overly heavy, um, but it's not a small light either. Um, there's no sheath or anything like that. You don't get anything to kind of slide it into to put on your pocket because I don't think anybody's going to do that anyhow. I mean, obviously, you can see just from the size of the bezel there, you're going to get a massive amount of light coming out there. Um, it is hefty. I mean, like when you're holding it, you're not just like, oh, it's a little dinky light. You definitely feel the the size of it and the um the weight of it i do think it's interesting that they include four 21 700s as opposed to a built-in battery um i think that's there's pluses and minuses i think the overall i would say is a plus because if you have an issue with one of those batteries you could swap it out for a new one you do have four 21 700 batteries that are you know there and um you know you could use them for other lights if you wanted to the other thing i didn't mention i mentioned it has a usb-c but just to show you here on the back see if i can open this thing up there you go Here's your little USB-C port on the back. So basically you're gonna plug that in and, uh, and charge it up. And generally what happens is that little light in the middle will be red while it's charging and then it'll be solid blue when it's fully charged. I mean, based on the, um, the size of the bezel, I would say, yeah, you're definitely gonna be punching light out to the night because it's not an orange peel reflector, it's very smooth. But the other thing is that because it's so wide, you, you probably will get a decent amount of you know, spill out from that hotter center. So you'll be able to see out to your right and your left pretty decently. So I just recently checked out the PowerTac Watchdog, which is probably a little bit smaller of a bezel. Um, a little bit longer of a um, light and a little bit more compact as far as the diameter is not as big. But it is a big hefty light like this. So uh, we'll test this one out and compare it to that one as far as, you know, just my experience with that one. I'll talk about that a little bit. But uh, yeah, this thing, is, this thing is definitely large and in charge. So let's wait till the night falls and take it out to the night and use it. All right, guys, I'm out here in the woods in a dirt road. And... Uh, you can see the lights from my car right now. This is the normal beams. Let me put on the high beams so you can see down the road. So way down there you can see it looks like something reflective on one of the uh, trees. So we're going to kill the uh, lights on the car now and test out the through night. So I've got it on Firefly now. Can't really see anything on the uh, camera but you can see there's my hand. So that's your Firefly. Let's go up to the different through the different levels now. All right, so here's your lowest setting after Firefly. So definitely a very tight beam here. I can I can see out to the uh, edges of the road right in front of me, probably 15, 20 feet. But uh, yeah, the lowest setting after Firefly. It's decent. I can see that little reflective thing, but not great. Let me go up to the next setting. So yeah, you can definitely see it's um, definitely a thrower. Definitely got that nice tight beam in the center. All right, there's your next level up. So we have low, medium, high here. And you can definitely see that reflective, whatever that is on, this, on the tree down there. You also have a better shot here of the spill out from the center beam. So I can definitely see probably, I don't know, say five feet off into the woods on either side. And I can see from here, I mean, all the way down to where that reflective, uh, whatever it is on the tree, I can see all the way down there, pretty much anything in the road. All right, let's go to turbo here. There's turbo now. You can see on the camera all the way down there now. This thing is definitely throwing some nice distance. Let me turn around and look the other way on the road. Go to the different settings here. So we got your low, there's your medium. Here's your high. Now the turbo again. There's turbo. Let's look off into the woods now. So this is high looking off into the woods.
Nice beam, really nice beam on this. Beaver hanging out in the middle of the road. And now two raccoons fighting in a tree. This guy's hanging on the branch pretty much upside down. And there's another guy, there's another two guys there. This one guy's really agitated, the other guys keep following him. Let's wrap up here talking about the Thrunite TN42 V2. So first off, I mentioned the watchdog from PowerTech. So similar in function overall, um, you know, that one's a little bit more, uh, it's longer, but it's a smaller uh, diameter for the, um, the actual flashlight. Um, I would say with that one and this one, uh, you're getting a thrower, a spotlight, a searchlight, a tight center beam there that's really gonna punch light out into the night. If you're looking for like a general use light, you know, that's gonna give you a good amount of light when you're around camp, I just think this is overkill, honestly. So you're talking about close to 5,000 lumens uh, with this one, that one you're looking at closer to say 2,500 lumens. So you're getting more light out of this. Um, this one, the runtime, as you saw, very short at that highest output and then drops down. I did use this at the highest output for a while last night and it didn't drop down on me um, after uh, quite a bit of use. It did get hot. I could feel the heat in it. Um, but in general, my experience with through night is that the numbers that they give you as far as the max um, output and the burn time, it actually runs longer than that. So that's just an observation. Um, at 200 bucks, again, I think this is a specialty light, right? This is not the light for someone who's just like, oh, I just want a, a good light to keep in my car. There's other options that through night makes out there that I think are better. This is um, a light that's meant to throw light out into the night when you are looking for things or searching for things. So whether that's you know spotting animals, whether it's search and rescue, maybe it's out on the water, uh, it's in the woods, in a big open area, big field. Um, this is the type of light you want to use that for. I'm not using this around the house. If I have to walk around the house quietly, uh, not wake anybody up, I'll use that firefly setting and then when I get outside, boom, I can go up to the higher settings. But just a really tight center beam. So I think that's something that really stood out to me um, from this light. 
it is, it's a monster thrower. It's meant to be a searchlight, so if that's what you're looking for, maybe this is one that you wanna check out. I do like the fact that it does have the batteries that you could pop out and use in other lights. I think that's a nice addition. So if you're using this for a bunch, you can recharge it, USB-C, um, but then you can use those batteries for other things. So I think that's a, that's definitely a win. Um, overall, it's, it's a monster, a specialty light, and uh, now you know about it. So if it, if it fits into your system or you know maybe your line of work, then maybe this is a, a light for you to check out. Through night TN42 V2, like I said, around 200 bucks with your discount when you purchase it over at Amazon. I'll put links down below in the description section so you can do that if you wanna get one. Let's hear your thoughts and your feedback on this light and let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.